Hi guys, Mrs. Robin. How y'all doing? So, you're actually out in my front yard with me. How cool is that? I'm going to show you the moves that you need to be able to play the game that we're going to play, which is called Mother May I. Now, usually you play Mother May I by having one person stand way down here and a bunch of kids, one or two kids or more, stand far away. And the kids standing over here say, Mother, may I? Can I take three giant steps? And Mother, may I, who's not looking, can either say yes or no. She can, yes, you may take three giant steps or no, you may not. Or she might say, no, you may not, but you can take two giant steps or you can take three tiny steps or something like that. And whoever reaches mom first gets to win that round and then gets to be mother and stand with their back to everybody else and everybody else gets to ask this person if they can take steps. And so I'm working on Mother's Day activities for uh, our moms that are coming up on Mother's Day pretty soon. So this is a fun game. Now you can't play it by yourself. That's one thing that's bad. You have to at least have you and one other person um, to play. Because what I'm gonna do is give you directions and you're gonna follow them. Uh, and so you have to have somebody that you can play against. I'm gonna be the mother over here. Now the other thing about the game is that you're not gonna be able to take the turn to be the mother because I'm doing it on video. And I'm sitting here by myself. People in the cars driving by probably think I'm crazy talking to myself. <laughs> so I'm here and I'm going to make this video and I'm going to be the mother and you and your mom or your brothers or sisters or whoever you have can be the ones that are following the directions. The other thing is that's funny about the way we're going to play it is that you can't ask me things because I won't be able to hear you because we're not playing this one live. So I'm going to say things like, whoever is wearing a green shirt can take four giant steps forward or something like that. So you have to listen to the clues and whoever matches the clues that I say gets to take the kind of steps that I say. And so both of you or all of you might get to move all at once in this fun version of Mother May I. So that's why it's called Mother May I with a twist. But before I can give you the directions, I have to show you the kind of fun steps that you can do. You're going to make sure that you have a lot of room to move while you're doing this too. So you can bring this outside, bring it on the phone, play there, a nice long hallway, a big room with lots of space, something like that. Okay, so we're just going to go over a few steps that I made up or you may not know what they are. Okay. So obviously, you know, giant steps and, you know, tiny steps, but we're going to have a couple more. So there's something called a foot to foot step where you have to put your heel to your toe like this. You have to balance. I don't know if you can see me. I'll go further out. Heel to toe like this. These are called foot to foot steps. So there's no space in between your heels and your toes. Another one that you might want to do is called, that I might say, is called a ballerina step. So it's going to look like this. Let's see if you can see me here. A ballerina step. So you're going to, you're going to make like a dance move. So your foot's going to go out and your arms have to go out like this. And you have to turn around. Okay? I'll do it again. Ready? And you have to turn around. Okay? You might have to do a jumping jack move which is like this. I can back, I'll show you. you do, you'll jump forward, but you'll do a jumping jack at the same time. One step, two. One step, two. Did you hear that person saying fun things to me as he drove by? All the things Mrs. Robin does for you guys. All right, what else? Um, okay, so that was a jumping jack, jumping jack step and a ballerina step and a foot to foot step and now we're going to have a scissor step so a pair of scissors if you think about it they have handles like this so you have to put your 
arms like this, so they look like the handles of the scissors. And then when you're making the steps, scissors, your legs have to stay very straight because scissors don't bend. So as far as you can go, keeping your legs straight, and you can tip up like that. So your legs have to stay straight. You can do forward scissor steps like I did, or you can do backward scissor steps where your legs are still staying straight, but you're going like that. Okay? Um, you can do uh, backwards and forwards jumps. So you can do like this. They can be a tiny jump, or it can be a big giant jump. And it can be backwards, like that. Maybe I'll send you backwards. And then you'll be, have to go back and forward like that. Um, okay. I don't know if there's anything else. <laughs> oh yeah! Uh, you can do frog leaps, like this. You have to go down, and you have to rip it to pretend you're a frog. Rip it, pretend you're a frog. Okay, all right, uh, I think that's going to be good for now. So I'm going to put you on pause and bring you back in so I can give you the directions. Okay. Hi guys, we're back inside now. I wanted to make sure that you would be able to hear me say the clues. So I came inside and I invented a bunch of clues for the Mother May I game. Now, I'm inside so you can hear me because there was cars going by and stuff, but you might still be outside. So make sure that you turn it up loud so you can hear the clues if you are outside. And remember that you, if you're, if you're um, going to play this game on your own, one of you gets to be the mother and make up, uh, tell the kids that they can go three steps forward or two tiny steps or or ballerina steps backwards or whatever but because i'm by myself i invented the game for you so you all have to listen for the clues and then follow the steps that i showed you how to do just a little bit ago and so if somebody reaches me while i go through these steps then you get to win and then maybe you can play on your own um and do it that way uh, you can be the mother but if somebody doesn't reach me by the end of this, then I guess whoever is closest to the computer or phone or however you're seeing me, that person gets to win. So hopefully this works and it's a fun thing for you and you get a little exercise and maybe you're outside, get some fresh air, fun, you practice listening. Okay, so here we go. Um, all right, ready? So everybody is at their starting place, whether it's their tape or a stick or a piece of chalk line that you drew in the driveway or whatever. And here we go. So if you are three years old or six years old or eight years old, you can take two ballerina steps forward. All right. If you are wearing a blue shirt today, right now as you listen, you can take three step-to-step -step steps forward, heel to toe, like I showed you outside, like you're on a balance beam, okay? Um, if you are a boy, you can take one giant step forward. If you have a dog, you can take two frog steps backwards, frog leaps. So what if you go backwards? Totally okay, like we've talked about in a lot of videos. Everybody can't win, and sometimes we have to go back to go forward. If you end up taking some steps back, just means you get to have that much fun exploring how to go forward. And you can play again and win next time. Um, okay, if you have a pet fish, then you get to take two scissor steps forward. Mm, those are tricky. Make sure that you don't tip over. If you are five or seven or nine years old, you get to take three of those jumping jack jumps 
forward. If you like to read, you get to take two giant steps forward because reading makes you very, very smart. If you like to play games, you have to take one frog leap backwards. Because if we never went backwards, what kind of game would that be? If you, uh, let's see, have green on today, then you can take one ballerina step back. Back again. Yep. If you have a ponytail on, like Mrs. Robin does today, then you get to take four baby steps forward. If you have a pet bird, and I don't mean the wild birds outside like Mrs. Robin's backyard bird friends, I mean a, a bird in a cage like a parrot or something that you keep there, then you can take one jumping jack step back. If you are a girl, you may take one ballerina leap forward. If you are wearing sneakers that you had to actually tie the laces for, you can take three step to step steps forward. If your name starts with a G, like Greg, or a B, like Bored Billy, or a C, like Callie and Cashy, then you can take two scissor steps forward. If your name starts with an S, like Sad Sam, or Scared Selena, or an R, like Rosie or Robin, then you can take one ballerina step back. If you like to eat vegetables, then you can take one giant leap forward. If you like to have dessert every day after your dinner, you can take one baby step back. If you are wearing any green on your shirt today, you can take Two baby steps forward. If you have blue eyes, like Mrs. Robin, you can take one giant step back. If you have a baby brother or sister, you can take two frog leaps back. If you helped mom today with anything, you can take three giant steps forward. If you have any picture on your shirt today, then you can take three small jumps forward. If you have see um short hair then you can take three ballerina steps forward well that's enough clues for today so i don't know if anybody reached me i hope you had fun check out all the other videos and make sure that you ask mom to tell mrs robin in the comments what games you like best do you like the exercise dice do you like the uh, jumping jets like Simon says? Do you like this kind of game? Are there some science experiments you'd like to see? Is there a special story you might like to hear? Um, those kind of things. So anyway, I'll see you soon. Take care, everybody.